Welcome back to Albany County Fasteners, Fasteners 101. I'm Bob, and today we're going to demonstrate how to install and remove a one-way tamper-proof screw, sheet metal, or wood. And I have uh, a one-way here. I have a flat, flathead uh, screwdriver, and we're going to install this one-way with this flathead screwdriver. And then I'm going to show you how to remove it. We're going to try to remove it with a vice grip. And we're also going to use a extractor. Always a problem getting these started, but once you get them started, they go right in. Almost started here. Got to apply consistent pressure until it gets going and it starts to draw itself in like it's doing now. You have to use a very large flathead screwdriver. As you can see, I'm using here. Can't use a small one, it'll just slip out. This particular screw is stainless steel. You could use also some wax if you want on the screw, It'll make it easier for it to go in. As I'm, I should have done that as I'm struggling here a little bit. And the thing about this is that you can't back it off because once it's in, it's in the only way to get it off. Will be one of these. At least I can grab it right now. And I'm going to turn it to take it off. And I'm going to put another one in. You also could pre drill a hole if you want to. Vice grip just about works on anything. So if you can grab the head, you can remove a one way. I'm going to drive it in one more time. This is a new screw. Now it's going to take a little lube. This is drill lube. Because I don't really care about my surface here. Not that it's going to make a real difference. You can see how much easier that screw is going in now. Almost there. Okay, so the, the one way is all the way in now. It's flush up against the wood. So the question is, how would you remove it? Let's see if a vice grip will work. If you can get on it. If you can get on it with a vice grip. And I'm not having much success. 
So the vice grip will not remove the one way. So I'm going to switch off to removing it with a bolt extractor. So I have to drill the center. I'm going to take my punch. I'm going to punch a hole, a starting point in the center. I'm going to do a drill hole in there. So a bolt extractor bit that drills out for a bolt extractor runs to the left, not to the right. So it would not be the same as you would normally drill with a regular drill bit. So you're drilling it out to the left. I'm going to take the drill bit out, and now I'm going to get an extractor. This is a, a bolt extractor. There you go. That's what it looks like. And obviously the threads go to the left, not the right. So I'm going to see if I drill deep enough that I can grab it. go. That took a lot of pressure to apply to the screw for that to extract out a sheet metal screw out of wood. So you have to drill the hole deep enough so you can get enough bite. And you see the hole I drilled did not penetrate the other side of the screw at all. So if you wanted to use the screw again, you can use it, but it's not going to look so great after you remove, uh, you know, the extractor from the top, which I'm going to do right now to show you. There you go. The screw's a little bit hot now, so I can't really touch it with my fingers. So, but that's what the head looks like after I drilled it out. So then that's how you basically remove a one-way screw with a bolt extractor. That's the bolt extractor remover. That's the bit that extracts the screw. And this is the drill bit that you would use before you put the extractor in. You have to drill it deep enough, probably I would say about a half an inch in, approximately to three quarters of an inch, you need to drill into the head to be able to extract it out. And that's the end result. Thanks for watching. There you go. Subscribe, like, comment. Visit us at albanycountyfasteners.com for 50,000 SKUs right off the rack, ready to ship. We look forward to seeing you in our next video.